In London this week, the U.S. women's volleyball team demonstrated their mastery of digs, sets, spikes, and blocks. They also excelled in another area, the inability to keep their hands off one another. The first 25 plays of one game showed the team sharing 24 group hugs, 6 high fives, 10 double high fives, 29 low fives, 2 double low fives, and 12 bum taps. That works out to 83 total touches. All this raises the question, is women's volleyball the touchiest Olympic sport? Beach volleyball isn't as huggy as its larger indoor cousin. In a recent match, Misty May Trainer and Kerry Walsh Jennings racked up one high five, 16 low fives, six double high and double low fives, and five bum taps for a total of 28 touches in the first 25 plays. The U.S. men's beach volleyball team of Jacob Gibb and Sean Rosenthal had just two high fives, seven low fives, and three butt taps in their win over Russia. By comparison, the U.S. basketball teams failed to exchange a single hug during the first 25 breaks of games we observed in London, but there was plenty of touching. The women traded 27 high fives. Men were even touchier. Kobe Bryant, LeBron James and company traded 45 high fives. But the men's indoor volleyball team might be the huggiest U.S. team. In a preliminary round victory over Serbia, the team participated in 17 group hugs and exchanged a spectacular 56 low fives and 21 high fives for a total of 94 touches. The most serious competition for volleyball comes from gymnastics. While the men managed only two bro hugs, three high fives, and one back pat during competition, the women's team excelled. During their team competition last week, the Fab Five shared a whopping 55 individual hugs with teammates and coaches, and five group hugs, including one after their gold medal victory was sealed. For The Wall Street Journal, this is Becky Bright.